Well, as I've said many times before, whatever happens that week becomes the vlog. And this is the week that we start planting the many vegetables that I've been planting inside, outside. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. No, that's not a bumblebee. It's just a mowing with the electric lawnmower. When I'm inside the house, it sounds like, uh, like there's a gigantic bumblebee or something buzzing around out there. At some point, I want to do another review of that lawnmower along with my neighbor's lawnmower. He has a, uh, another, a bigger one than ours. It's still a Ryobi uh, electric lawnmower, but it's bigger than ours and self-propelled and everything. And I thought it'd be interesting to do sort of a comparison between the two. So that's coming at some point. But uh, it's been, uh, we've been liking it. It works very good. It's really nice in the uh, spring, when you first start mowing your lawn again, to not have to worry about changing oil, replacing a spark plug, you know, you put gas in it. You know, this thing is so light you can hang it on a wall. But it's reliable, it works good. And Justin loves it because he loves mowing the lawn. Here's something new. We have a pumpkin patch this year. This is Lynn's, I gotta make a sign. It says Lynn's pumpkin patch. What we did was uh, kind of fun is I, I, we bought pumpkins last year. In fact, it was on one of the vlogs, Lynn picks them out. And I made a jack-o'-lantern, which I believe was also on one of the vlogs. But I saved the seeds. Save the seeds, I put them down my workbench all winter long, and then I planted them inside for a while and they grew like crazy. A um, couple didn't make it, but I took the healthiest ones and I planted four pumpkin plants out here now. So, uh, and I put some chicken wire around it so that the little critters don't get in there. Uh, we're hoping that uh, we can have some pumpkins this year and then Lynn can uh, come over and uh, pick, her, pick her pumpkins right here in our own backyard. It'll be fun. I've also planted some zucchini and summer squash that I started from seed inside. They were doing fine inside, but I'm not sure how well they're doing here outside right now. I think I've lost a couple. I still have another one I gotta bring out. But uh, we'll see how they do. If not, I'll replace them. Now this is Lynn's raised garden. That's been on the blog many times before. And uh, we always have chives and parsley, some other things that come up every year. But I'm adding some cone flowers over here that I've started inside that we'll uh, plant probably sometime tomorrow or the next day and uh, over on this side we'll be adding some spinach and lettuce and I got some jalapeno peppers growing inside that will go over there. Um, the reason we're not pl quite planting them today is because tonight there's another uh, frost warning. So, and there was one last night. I don't think we actually got frost, but it did get, get into the 30s. And I guess it'll do that again tonight. Today's actually barely 60 degrees outside. Feels good in the sun. But next week, we're in the 80s. So, uh, it's full steam ahead. Once we, uh, after, you know, 
Memorial Day weekend looks great. You're seeing this the Sunday before Memorial Day. And, uh, but uh, next week looks, uh, looks terrific. So we should be all set to get everything in the ground. Here are some of my flowers that I've been growing inside. And uh, over here, these are my uh, jalapeno peppers. Hey, look who's here. Lynn. Hey, Lynn, yes. Everybody knows you. You're the name of the channel. All right? Yes. What do we have for uh, dinner? Pork chops. Pork chops. And corn on the cob. Corn on the cob and, and a I salad. And I put some watermelon in the salad. And it was delicious. I really like that. A little sweetness. Juicy I sweetness. Didn't. You didn't? You ate it. I am loved. You don't love watermelon as much as I do. So we've been, uh, we're starting to put out uh, some of our uh, plants, right? What's over there? Then what do we got over there? What do we plant over there? Corn. Nope. Zucchini. Oh, we did grow some zucchini. No, yeah. pumpkin. Pumpkins, that's it. Lynn's pumpkin patch. <laughs> So that'll be cool. Hopefully that grows well, right? So yeah, it's supposed to get cooler tonight. We have a frost warning tonight, actually. But this weekend, we're shooting this Thursday afternoon, and starting tomorrow and this weekend and every Memorial Day weekend looks beautiful. No rain predicted, and the weather's supposed to get a lot warmer and in the 80s next week. So we'll get all our plants in. We'll be all ready to go, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, Lynn just told me that she would like to help me put the plants in. Um, yeah, and you can. We got uh, some lettuce. We got your flowers, uh, your cone flowers we're going to put in in the, uh, in the annual section. Right? Oh, we're going to put the end of... Look the red. Oh, oh here comes... Right. Here comes Elvis our rabbit right on schedule comes out every day at this time and uh, eats yep eats and uh, it, it doesn't bother him that we're here so that's fun huh he was out I think uh, there was uh, some of you that watched the uh, last video with our my smoker um, excuse. Your excuse. Uh, Elvis made an appearance during that as well. So I'll, I'll show you a shot of him right now as well. So there he is just past our fire pit. He'll make his way over here eventually. And uh, not too concerned about us being out here. So Lynn, are you going to help me put a close on the video? I am. And what do we say at the end of the video? See you later on the Lynn and Lynn show. <laughs> on the Lynn show. How about we'll see you next time. Ready? On the Lynn show. Lynn life. Lynn life. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three. We'll see, see you, you next, next time, time on the Lynn life. life.